In this lesson, we'll learn to estimate differences. Differences being the answer to a subtraction problem. Here's the type of problem that we would see when we're estimating differences. It says to round each number to the nearest thousand, then estimate the difference. So we'll take that first number, 15,287, and round it to the nearest thousand. That would be 15,000. Next, we take the other number, 11,579, and we also round that to the nearest thousand. That would be 12,000. And since we're estimating the difference, we will subtract the two numbers that we just came up with. 0, 0, 0, 5 minus 2 is 3, and 1 minus 1 is 0. When we're writing 3,000, we do not write 0, 3, 0, 0, 0. We just write 3,000, 3, 0, 0, 0. So our estimated difference is 3,000. That's our estimated difference. Please do not write, do not write this estimated difference where the exact answer would go. Some students will want to copy this and say, okay, well, that's the answer. But this right here would be where the exact answer would go. 3,000 is the estimated answer for our um, problem. Here the instructions say to round each number to the nearest hundred, then estimate the difference. I'm actually going to do the exact answer this time to use the estimate to see if my answer is reasonable. 3 minus 8 can't do it. 6 becomes a 5. 3 becomes 13. 13 minus 8 is 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. And 12 minus 7 is 5. This here again is our exact answer. Some students, when they're wanting to estimate the difference, will want to take this exact answer and just round it. You may not do that. So don't make that mistake. It says to round each number to the nearest 100. So, 12,600 minus 7,300. <clears throat> that 8 is between 5 and 9. That's why the 2 goes up there. And then we subtract those two numbers. 0, 0, 6 minus 3 is 3, and 12 minus 7 is 5. So 5,300 is our estimate for the exact answer, 5,358. They're close enough together where we feel that our answer is reasonable. Sometimes the instructions will just say to estimate the difference. So if we were given this problem here, it already says to estimate, meaning that we are trying to find that difference where we will work with each of those numbers, the 8,763 and the 527. It also doesn't tell us specifically as to what place to go ahead and estimate that difference to. So we could choose. We can either choose the tens place or we can even choose the hundreds place. Just as long as we're rounding each of those numbers to that same place. So. I'll show you both of those examples. 8,763 to the nearest tens place is 8,760. 527 to the nearest tens place is 530. And again, we would subtract those. And then so, the difference estimated to the nearest tens place is 8,230. If we had chosen to estimate to the nearest hundreds place, we would have rounded that first number to 8,800. The second number, we would have rounded to what? Right, 500. And then subtracting those two, we would have 8,300. Both of those here are valid estimates. We just chose different places to round them to. Again, when you're estimating the difference, you do have to do these steps here still. You cannot, cannot figure out an exact answer and then round it. Okay, it is your turn. It says to estimate the difference to the nearest thousands place. And then so, set up the problem, and I drew your two arrows here so that you can go ahead and round those two numbers, and then remember to subtract them. Pause that video, and come back for the solution. Okay. 
Okay, nearest thousands place. So 18,253 should round to 18,000. 11,679 rounds to 12,000. And then we subtract those two numbers. 8 minus 2 is 6. And we write 6,000. That is our estimate for the exact answer. And again, do not write anything there unless it's the exact answer. Here's another one for you. Instructions say to round each number to the nearest hundred, then estimate the difference. Go ahead and hit pause while you're figuring out your solution. Okay, instructions do not ask you at all to figure out an exact answer. They're asking you to figure out an estimate. Round each number, nearest hundred, 3,251. Since that 5 is between 5 and 9, the 2 goes up to a 3. I zero out and keep all other digits the same. 1,432 goes to 1,400. And then I subtract those numbers because I'm estimating a difference. 0, 0. 3 minus 4 can't do it. 3 becomes a 2, so the... 3 can become 13, 13 minus 4 is 9, and 2 minus 1 is 1. My estimated difference is 1,900. Okay, let's go ahead and review. It says estimate the difference to the nearest thousands place. So I have the problem 18,732 minus 9,325, and I've already figured out the exact answer for you as 9,407. Now, the reason that we might estimate is we might estimate to go ahead and check our work, to think whether or not our answer is reasonable. And then, so let's go ahead and estimate the solution now. 18,732, remember, you absolutely must work with each of those numbers of the subtraction problem. You may not work with that exact answer. So 18,732 rounds to, and remember you have to go to the correct place, goes to 19,000. 9,325 would round to what? 9,000, right. And what do we do with those two numbers? We subtract them. And when we subtract them, we get 10,000 as our estimated answer to the thousands place. Relatively close to each other, so we think that our answer is reasonable. The reason that it actually is higher is because the number that we were subtracting from went up, and the, the amount that we were taking away actually went down. So it makes sense that um, our exact answer would be smaller than our rounded, than our estimate, not rounded. So that's all you need to know about estimating differences.